Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm a CA over at Manzanita Hall on Tempe campus. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about um, HIV treatment and the things that go with that. And so a little bit about myself, since I'm a CA, one of the most important things for me is knowing that my residents are well informed about HIV, um, anything like with sexual health. And so I'm really thankful for everyone here today to be listening to me and coming to this presentation. So we're gonna be talking for around five to seven minutes. If you need to leave, that's totally okay. If you have questions, um, put it in the chat or ask me after this, that's totally fine. Um, and I realize that I am pretty much the same age as everyone here. Um, and so I'm really thankful that you guys took out some time in your day to come here and listen to me. So we're gonna get started. Um, I'd like to emphasize that there is no cure for HIV anywhere in the world, but there are life-saving treatments and these treatments available can help ensure someone who is HIV positive to live a long and healthy life. Um, but the only way to get that to achieve um, a long and healthy life if they are HIV, HIV positive is if they get tested because testing will allow them to get the treatment they need and break the cycle of HIV transmission. And so today we're going to start with talking about the treatment. The treatment is basically something called antiretrovirals or ARV. It's a drug combination um, that reduces the amount of virus in one's body and so this prevents the virus from reproducing in the body and keeps it at a low or undetectable um, amount and so when it's undetectable we call it virally suppressed and an HIV positive person whose um, HIV load is virally suppressed they are unable to transmit the disease which is why this treatment is so important um, our goal is to have a treatment for the HIV positive person to live a long and healthy life but to also prevent them from transmitting it to other people so you might be wondering who should be taking these ARVs? Um, does anyone have an idea? Yeah, so basically anyone who has tested positive for HIV, they will be the ones who have access to this treatment and they should be the ones who um, take this treatment so that they can protect themselves and prevent um, transmitting HIV any further and breaking that cycle. Um, the earlier they take or the earlier they get tested um, in order to figure out if they have HIV or not, the better it is. That would mean the earlier and quicker they can get to treatment and start suppressing the load, their, their viral load of HIV, and also prevent themselves from um, passing it passing HIV on to anyone else. Um, I also want to talk about something called adherence. So basically ARV, it is not a cure for HIV slash AIDS. The people will, the HIV positive people will still be HIV positive, but um, this will prevent the, their ability to pass it on to other people. And so they need to take this once a day uh, for the rest of their lives. And uh, while taking it, they're able to keep their viral load low, like down here, but once they stop taking it, their viral load shoots right back up, and when it goes back up because they stop taking it, that means they are um, able to transmit the disease, and that's something we don't want. And so that's why it's really important to get tested to have access to treatment if one is, um, in fact, HIV positive. Um, so of course, when we're talking about medication and treatment, we always think about side effects. And while there are side effects, um, I want to emphasize that the benefits of taking this treatment far outweigh um, any side effects that can occur. Um, it is much better to be able to live a long and healthy life while dealing with some side effects, but also it'll mean that they are unable to um, transmit the disease to anyone else. And so um, that is a really important thing I wanted to emphasize. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to really talk about how um, treating the HIV positive people is pretty much the best bet at going with this. Um, it allows those people to continue to live a long and healthy life while um, breaking the cycle of HIV. 
for those who um, might have been exposed to HIV in the past like 72 hours, they can take something called post-exposure prophylaxis. It is not a substitute or something for regular use, um, but it is used in an like, um, emergency situation, almost like a like plan B for a pregnancy. Um, for those who are regularly at high risk for contracting HIV, they can take something called pre-exposure prophylaxis. This is something that um, you talk to um, a doctor, uh, one's doctor, and basically um, it's prescribed medication. You also take it once a day, every day, uh, for it to be effective. Um, and this is for someone who is at high risk for contracting HIV, not that they have contracted HIV yet. So they're a little bit different. So pre-exposure before, um, post-exposure after. And post-exposure is the one that um, uh, is taken set within 72 hours of being exposed. Um, and it's not like an everyday thing, only pre-exposure and ARV for those who are um, HIV positive. Um, so I just wanted to reiterate that um, having access to this treatment is only possible for those who um, actually get tested and for those who um, are tested HIV positive, they will have access to this treatment. Um, but the only way to have access is to get tested and to know one's status and to um, break the HIV cycle where um, people can continue to keep uh, like um, sorry, transmitting it to others. So that is what we're trying to break here. And the important thing is to just get tested, know your status. If you're HIV positive, um, you have access to life-saving treatments. Thank you for coming today and thank you for listening.